hive on. It's the beginning of January. We've just had loads of horrible sleet, snow, and cold rain come down, and I'm fishing on a little river with my brother, Will. Hello. Who's Happy fishing? Year. The tick. I hope there might be a trouble or a trout or something. Um, the trout. It's just nice to be outside, <laughs> Carlos. It's, it's out of season. I've had to trout. Oh, trouble then. Not loud. <laughs> so I'm going to use the centre pin. I can up to 15 foot rod and I'm going to fish just along the far bank. It's about five foot deep. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to fill up my trusty old 70s bait dropper and get some pinkish down. So there's a fair bit of flood water flowing through. If I throw them in, they'll end up 100 metres down river. I'm using a, um, a five number four wire stem float. That wire stem just helps the float sit down properly in the current. And about four foot down, I've got a bulk shot, just split out a little bit. And then a dropper, and that's fishing pretty much. Uh, Probably about two inches over depth, just so that when I hold it back, it will flutter the hook bait back up. That was a good bite. That's my first fish of 2022. I better not tell Will, as we want it for live bait. It beats my last effort with a centre pin because all I could get was minnows. Species number two, get in, minnow. That was a pleasant fish. I don't think that's a minnow. Probably another gudgeon. No, it's the world's fattest minnow. Ooh, that's not a minnow. What a bruiser. Oh, cool. Wild or what? There you go. I have to get him back. I have to get him back. Mm. Oh, what's that? I hope it's not another trout. Yeah, it is. Really me. Beautiful oh, brownie. Just getting back. I had um, a couple of big brown trout. You're kidding me? No. Something's splashing and I must have got a three herd fish. I let them go. Are you pictures? Oh, it's on video, but oh, cool. because, they're, because they're out of season, I'm about to get them back quick. I can't like go. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I've not had a tap on the love worms. You're not had a touch on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a bite. Oh yes. Nice. Is that a dace? If it is a dace, it's a nice one. Excellent. Well done. Very nice indeed. Yeah, a lovely dace. And uh, you know it's a dace because it's got the concave anal fin. Chubb got a rounded pink anal fin. Smaller mouth. Wicked. Well pleased with that. Hopefully there's more. The idea of that shotting pattern is so that every time I put the brakes on the... Oh, there we go, what's that? What on earth is that? Look at that. Angry, angry brownie. Oh, nice one. Not really, it's out of season, isn't it? I don't want to catch them. No, I really don't want to catch them. Yeah. People can be so... Um, Critical if you do catch them. Well, it's by, by catch, really, isn't it? You know, it is. I think it's when you start flashing them around in front of cameras and weighing them, you get upset. You've got to get them back quickly, I think. Yeah. But they're um, quite toothy, they don't do the hook length any, any good. No. 
I spent ages here for my discord and it's behind my ear. <laughs> Can't remember who it was, but someone was asking me how you can sort that out. They've all got too hot, even though it was only um, six degrees last night, too much ammonia. A couple of slices of white bread, we'll sort them out. So, uh, give them a rattle. Ideally, you'd wash them out with a fine mesh net, but if you can't, just give them a rattle. The bread will absorb all the, all the ammonia and they'll crawl around on top of that. And if you can, try and slide a, a bit underneath as well. You can see they look better already. Just don't eat the bread. Um, what, two gudgeon, two minnows, a dace, and three brown trout. I'm gonna have to come off the river. I can't really justify fishing it. It's, it says coarse fishing, but I can't handle, keep catching brown trout. It's not on.